All right, we got our uh, redneck lighting here because there's terrible light over here. But as a man tour, you can see everything just fine, so that's good. We're going to build a shelf, but before that, we need to go grab something so that way we can uh, modify the lawnmower a bit. Here, Matt. Let me give this to you. You take care. I'll be right back. So here's our bench. Yep. We got a washer and a dryer. That's a minty bench. teach you guys how to build a shelf today so we got a bunch of old old power wood right um around here we're like super broke so we kind of what what would you say we repurpose things right so we got a tape measure out today we got uh this uh triangular device it's for triangulating things so if you like put it up to the sun and you'll be like hey i want to find max where's he's at then uh you just It'll triangulate his area. It'll fly over to him. So it's better than Amazon. <laughs> better than Amazon, exactly. Now, hammer, stud finder, because we're working with wood. Uh, I already took all the nails out of this. Oh, there's a nail. All right. So first step. See, if you can't get it from this side. If you can't get it from that side, look, it's down in there, right? Can you guys see that? That's down in there, right? We don't want that. So when you're making shelves, you don't want nails hanging out. I got nails everywhere. They're, they're not good. So, just gotta get it out somehow. You know, first thing you want to do is try and knock it back. Out some. See, that's not going to happen, obviously. So we're just gonna... My goal here is to try my best to get this nail out. Well, we'll just try our shears here. Oh my god. That's not working, right? These are meant for bushes. Um, what are we doing here? Alright. So, we're getting some progress here. We're gonna just wear gloves. Probably like with some armor. Ooh, ooh. That's what you want. Look, bam, we can grab that. Yank that sun gun out. So we're going to try it here. I repurposed this nice wash and dryer set that I got as a housewarming gift. Um, it's a workbench. So I think we got this where we can get it now. This is how you get the tricky ones, the tricky bits. Just kind of... Sometimes your hand can be a hammer. That's fine. Look at that. Keep out. Do not leave these laying around in your garage. Uh, you get a hole in your tire. You don't want that. No. So, no. Tires are expensive. Holy cow. Zoom out, bud. <laughs> Alright, this board is ready to go. So, of course. We're gonna try and find some sandpaper after we're done building like the shelf. We're gonna sand it down. We might build two shelves out of this. I don't know. We might not need this much wood. This is my first time. Put up here on the old toolbox. That is how you should do it. Now, the, you are gonna come across, like when breaking down pallets, I've bent a lot of nails and that sucks. So, if anybody has, oh, let me get that water off the lens. Is I, that better? I, I couldn't even see the water. 
Now it's blurry. Oh, uh, microfiber floss, everybody. Always use microfiber. So, a new, yep. All right, getting back at it. Camera guy over here doing camera work, you know. Sometimes when you're working, especially if it's raining out, I mean, electronic devices in the rain never mix. But a new camera's in the works. Oh, I missed. Always, it's always nice to have. I found this drawer out in the yard. We don't have fancy tools. We're out here rug ratting it, you know? Like, do you think Tommy ever had, you know, tools? No. Look at all the crap he did on the rug rats. Alright, our boards are, are stripped of nails. We're ready to make a shelf. So how, uh, Maximus here, bud, uh, how long should our shelves be? What are you thinking here? I'm thinking, like, that's a pretty decent shelf. Yep. You know, would you hang that up in your wall? You, you probably. Right. So, here's what I'm trying to figure out. So, we're, we're trying to just make it from scratch. Should we do one like that? Where it's double thick? Double the thickness is better. Exactly. Double the thickness is better. You got double thick. It's gonna it go don't matter here. how long it is. If it ain't thick, it ain't right. Alright. This is this bag of garbage. We don't need that. Alright, get our tape measure here. Now this, this is all, this is all Walmart tools. Got this, you know, this is like, what, four, five dollars? That's like six bucks. It's like another six dollars. Walmart, they got good tools, guys. I use Walmart tools all the time. I got a whole rack over there of saws and stuff, hacksaws. This came from Harbor Freight. All right, I won't lie. I won't lie. From Harbor Freight, I don't know the brand. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want the brand, I don't know. But this is your triangulator. So you can get nice, precise measurements here. So we want our shelf. We're going double thick. I think this will be a good shelf. Right? From here to here. What do you think? And then all this, or maybe even here to here. And then these we can use for what? What do you think we should use those for? Support for the maybe shelf. Maybe the supports. Maybe we'll put them like angle them up and then have them the same as this. That way we can, uh, what would you call that? Mount it on the wall. We can mount it on the wall. You need a stud finder for mounting stuff on the wall. So, when you're working on wood, you always want a stud finder. As you can see, there is no stud here. Oh, there's one. There's a stud right. Oh. Alright, well, it's a little difficult to find it. But. Oh. See, right in there, we got a stud. So. That really doesn't matter. Anyways, we're going to do, what, 17 inch. We'll do that. 17 inches. Do we have any marking devices? We got a flathead screwdriver. So right there is about 17 inches. Bam. That is a straight line. Straight arrow. Straight A's in school. I did not get those. Mm -hmm. We're not going to talk about that. We're going to go ahead and brace it. Brace. Always brace your stuff. Put as much weight as you can. You don't want... You don't want... It's a pop-up. All right, use your stud finder. Measure twice. Check twice, cut once. There's the stud. Whatever. We won't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That's fine. So, get the... Okay. Oh, shit. That's, you know, just graze it a bit. Man, I wish I had a better tool for Wait this. Wait a second. You do. I'm over here in the Stone Ages. I think I got something for that. This is why a dryer is really handy. We get got our extension cord. <laughs> extension cord. That's crazy. Yep, we're gonna use this. <laughs> Matt, you wanna put that down? Help me out. Oh, yep. Yeah. Where are the pressure straps coming from? It'd be nice to roll these up, put them back in the dryer nicely. Jump rope. One more. Woo!
This camera says TW. Tuesday, Wednesday is the only time you can use this thing. Oh yeah, I remember blowing that thing up. That was a good time. If you guys go, don't don't go to Sonic actually, because people who work there don't like you, especially me. I I really don't like customers. Why do I work there? Because I didn't look good enough to make it in acting. So that's all I gotta say about that. But yeah, I just hope you know every time you go and get something from Sonic, I just want to like not like you for the rest of my life. Hmm. Oh, I was just telling these people I don't like them if they're customers. Oh. You can go to Sonic, just don't go to Max's Sonic. Yeah, just don't go here because I don't like you. Alright. Anywho, I'm at Max's Donuts rant. This thing is fireproof. It's been through one fire. That's how you know it won't ever happen again. I already told him about that. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah, I told him I blew it up. Should plug it in. Uh, that no. one don't work. That one's dead. See? The one that catches on fire is dead. We're lined up. You ready? Grinder, sand that down. So we got our our board. Measure it again, just make sure. If you want to make a shelf that people are gonna want, right? That's what we're looking at here. Is being able to build stuff that you can sell. Like you've seen Etsy, you've seen Pinterest. Uh, there's people on Facebook or uh, not Facebook, but it's Amazon. They sell these repurposed stuff, right? Well, I'm going to show you how to make it cheaper, and you can start selling it, too, to suckers who aren't watching our video, all right? All right, Max? Yeah. We're out here smart. Make you know, bank. cheap Harbor Freight stuff. We've got some stain and polyurethane sitting around that's been waiting. All up we, there. We got it for free. It came with a house, right? So, uh, really, that's all you need to make stuff. Some, some pallet wood. Make sure you seal it, because the... Uh, there's a chemical in pallet wood that's not good to be in your house. So if you seal it, it'll be okay. It'll be just fine. That chemical won't affect anybody in any way. We're going to knock out this knot real quick. Knots in wood is really fascinating to me. I don't know why, but I've always been kind of like, you know, fascinated with how wood works. I'm not very good at working with it. But that is a knot, they call it, I think. I think it's called a knot, right? It's kind of cool, Logan. We're going to keep that around. We might paint, like, a face on it, name it Joe. Who knows? Mm -hmm. zoop, zoop. And that'll hold these two together. We'll go ahead and make a 45-degree cut on one of these. Lefty, loosey, righty, tidy, right? First time doing woodwork. We don't know what we're doing either. We're going to take our speed square here. Okay. Stop. <laughs> neighbors, man, I tell you. I cannot wait to move out in the country and I have to have neighbors. A light, a light's dying, that's not good. We'll have to make another cut. So I go up against the wall just fine. But we'll do that. We'll do it twice. A light keeps dying. Uh, we'll come back to you later whenever we have a light. So we're going to take this piece. Finally got our light recharged. So, <laughs> take this piece, get our marking tool. We're gonna want to cut like that, that kind of angle. We're gonna want. Let's see. We're gonna want another angle, not like that. Anyways, we're gonna we're, we'll figure it out. But we'll need another angle this way, so that way that way can butt up against the wall. And then you'll screw it into the wall that way. The cuts don't have to be perfect because you can always fix it. They line up pretty well. With that cut about right there. In a perfect world, we would have clamps. What are you looking at? I don't know. Alright. In a in a perfect world, we would have clamps and a proper workbench, maybe even a table saw. But for now, this will have to do. So you just and then you can move that back. However you need, bam, there's your shot. Yeah, see, that looks good now. Looks good now, right? <laughs> God damn, dude. Uh, I feel good? No, 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 no. You can make something out of nothing. That's what we're trying to, trying to do here. I think our wall's going to be more like that, hopefully. If not, we we're in trouble. But, well, the, it wasn't even sitting flat. Right. If you're making this stuff for your own house and your own good, it doesn't really matter how you build it. What you do, you get it built, and you're golden. Put that one right 
right there, boom, lines up somewhat. So we didn't have any fancy measuring tools. We had a triangulator and a tape measure and a fake wall. And we, we made a shelf that will work. Um, this one's just a test run. Probably make this my kid's bookshelf in his room because uh, we need a bookshelf and I don't have any, so we'll figure that out. But yeah, remember, it's not too hard to do. <laughs> Sorry about that one, guys. You know, I gotta work on my dad jokes. I got a kid, so kids love dad jokes. We're gonna go grab some sandpaper and we'll sand it all down. Uh, see what if we can't make it look too nice. So we'll catch you guys there. So, real quick, I want to have a shout out to uh, Formula. Um, I had to buy Formula, and these these things and like little cans and stuff. I got a whole bunch of them I need to clean out and bring out here. They're great. You you know you got tools. You know, say hey, I got some tools, and I want to take them. You know, say oh, you got certain tools out for something. Bam, put them in the box. You got bolts that you need to put in. Put them in the box. Bam. And you get to feed your baby in the process. And you, yep, you, you are, well, you already fed your baby. But there you go. <laughs> and we got a shout out to Rhino Ramps because uh, we aren't sponsored, by the way. Yet. But these things saved my life. Um, I had a jack wasn't working. I needed to do my header install on my truck. Went out, bought these Rhino Ramps Advanced Auto or no AutoZone, uh, and they work great. You just drive up on them. And they're tall enough where you can actually work under them. I got a belly, so it's hard for me to like crawl in these cars. But yeah, um, we're gonna get back to this, and we're not gonna go back to that. We got 100 grit, we got 60 grit, 80 grit. Don't know what that was. And these are spent pads. That's not that's a good 60 grit. So cut those. Uh, we'll probably we'll start with a 60 grit. What do you think? I think max 60 grit. Yep, good job. Start with a 60 grit. And so right now, I'm just going to go through and deburr my edges and anything like that. If well, there's anything sticking up, maybe smoothing that out a little bit. Just take it and just start going after it. And this does have holes, so be careful you don't splinter yourself or something. So just go ahead and smoothing it out. With the 60 grit, you don't want to go over everything. Just deburr it. Screw it down, nail it down, whatever you want. Thought about repurposing. So, oh, that's dirt. <laughs> that's more dirt. See, I found this out in the backyard. Repurposing some. That's not one you want to repurpose, right? That's junk. So we just you know, find a diamond in the rough here. Needle in a haystack. All right. Bad. Well, not usable. Throw it in the tub. The point is, just get new stuff. Don't, don't be like me. Don't be cheap with it. Just <laughs> put it back in the jar. Hey, sometimes you live and you learn. So, I'm gonna have to wait until I go to the hardware store or Walmart. Things are pretty cheap at Walmart. Like if you don't, if you can't afford to go to the hardware store, you can get pretty much anything that you can get at the hardware store a lot cheaper at Walmart. So, that's why I suggest. But for now, that's our shelf. I mean. I think mean, it looks pretty good for a reclaimed wood shelf. I mean, we made I mean, that. from that to that, that's yeah. that's a big from difference. This to that, and you have a shelf you can hang on the wall. Let's see. We'll you put can a, put a DVR on there, a Wi-Fi router, yeah, wi pictures, router, books, pictures, uh, flowers. It could be a spice rack. Yeah, a flower rack. You know, whatever you want. And it's strong enough wood. It's not just going to snap. Wow, that actually looks pretty good. Sell them all just like that. So. We should make some for out here. But, yeah. I mean, you just, you do what you can. Did you hear that got. frog? Yeah, there's some barking spiders out, out here. But yeah, this is just pallet wood. <laughs> <laughs> some barking spiders. We got some more pallets sitting over there I need to take apart. These are, uh, let me get the light. So I, I wanted to make some coffee tables. I was going to have those be my legs, but you can also use those to make chairs, outdoor chairs if you want, whatever you want. You can use it for anything. I mean, it all works. Uh, usually you get power wood for free. You just got to talk to lumber yards, places like there's a place, there's a place close to downtown around here where they've got, uh, 
They got pallets. I don't know if they sell them, but you can usually get them for free or like a couple bucks a piece depending on where you go. But those people pick them up for free, so there's always somewhere you can go. Just like scrap, you can pick up scrap for free. You can make whatever you want out of it. So this is our shelf. I mean, if you want to make it where you bolt it together, and then you can just, you know, bolt the whole thing together, and just bam, there it is. Do whatever you want, man. Live your life. So. This is Max and Dakota, or Dakota and Max's tutorial on how to build a shelf, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Like the video if you liked it. If you didn't, you don't have to. Uh, subscribe, please. We always like subscribers, and we'll catch you on the next one. Yep. Maybe you guys subscribe enough, you'll be able to see more of me.